werewolf films have been done to death. Maybe not as much as vampire films or zombie films, but transformations from human to wolf have never been too far from our screens. Doing a quick Google search, it seems that the first sign of a werewolf was from the Epic of Gilgamesh around 2100 BC. But let's be real, our werewolf love comes from a different place. These are our werewolves. These are the lycanthrope we hold near and dear to our heart. These are the OGs. These are the masters. These are the ones we always come back to. These are the werewolves that we judge all other werewolves by. And rightfully so. The werewolf film needs to constantly up the ante. It needs to bring something more to the table of this subgenre, or it gets lost forever. It needs to be different. It needs to think outside the box. Ginger Snaps? Hell yeah, Ginger Snaps up the ante. There is no such thing as werewolves. So when a film like Jim Cummings' The Wolf of Snow Hollow comes along, we watch because we're intrigued by something that's familiar, yet completely fresh, regardless of whether we love it or not. And don't we hope the Ryan Gosling Wolfman movie will be good and fresh and unique? Unlike that Benicio Del Toro crap? You moron. Tonight I will kill all of you. Teddy deserves this same audience. A selection in the Cannes Film Festival, and now a Shudder original, directed by... The French film is exactly what you'd expect in terms of plot for a werewolf film. It's about a guy named Teddy who gets scratched by an unknown beast and slowly begins to transform. And for a plot that seems so unoriginal, Teddy is anything but unoriginal. And that's due to the brilliance of this guy... Je me présente, je m'appelle Teddy Prévost, je suis le copain de Rebecca depuis 8 mois as the title character in the brilliant writing and directing. I really, 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 really hope this amazing actor becomes a household name we all come to know and love. And yeah, I don't know how to say his name. I was absolutely mesmerized by Teddy. We're talking about a school dropout who doesn't seem to be going anywhere with his temp job at the massage parlor, his lack of social abilities, and his moments of extreme loser tendencies. Sorry, Teddy. <laughs> But he has dreams, he has a love, and he's planning for his future. I couldn't take my eyes off of Teddy. He's a multifaceted character that evolves with every scene. Someone who keeps you guessing, someone that keeps you intrigued. He demands respect on the screen and it's so easy to give it to him. A lot of people see a werewolf film to see the transformation. How do they do it? Do we see it in quick cuts and close-ups? Do we see it in broad daylight, showing everything? Do we do it with some awful CGI or are we going straight practical effects? I totally get that. But this film is a mix of comedy, heart, and horror. And like any werewolf film, Teddy has its transformation scene too. But believe me, this is a film that you might initially come for that scene, but you'll watch the film for its title character and its supporting characters because they breathe life into these roles that hit different. They're the glue that makes this film memorable, and it should be admired for the fresh originality it brings from a subgenre that really, really deserves it.